while you were away, your dad came by the house. What? What are you talking about? My dad was here today. Yeah. And he talked to my dad for like a while and then he just left. What, 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 what do you want? What do you say? I don't know. But my dad doesn't even know that I know. In fact, he lied about why we had to postpone the racetrack. He said it was a business emergency. So how do you know it's my pops? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, I told Uncle Phil I didn't want to read that. Bro, I don't want to read that, I, I just want to... I want to close the door on this whole situation, so just... I know. But that wish isn't going to come true. Your dad's here, and mine isn't giving straight answers, and, and this folder has all the answers you need. Prison. Well, I figured you two were talking about me. And my pops? Well, well I don't bother trying to cover up. I knew it was here. So, you all really weren't going to tell me? Well, we were just discussing yeah. what the next steps should be. And now that you know, I mean, do you want to meet with your father? Well, that depends. What does he want with me? Um... What? What is with you two? Why can't y'all just answer a simple-ass question? It's complicated, okay? Listen. To be blunt, your father's saying all the right things, but Lou's not trustworthy. No, listen, he, he's, listen, he's a con man who was convicted of robbing an old man he said owed him money. And you were his lawyer, right? Yeah, I read the report. The report? I asked Jeffrey to look into my father and Uncle Phil wasn't too happy about it. Where are you, Uncle? Is that why Jeffrey left? The decision to part ways was mutual. Not on my part. Listen. But we'll pick this up later. Okay, what else did you learn from this Jeffrey report? Yeah, my pops had it rough from the jump. His daddy was a gangster who got killed in jail. His mom died when he was 15. He dropped out of school. At 19, he got arrested for stealing a car, so he already had a prior when he was facing the assault charges. You didn't have a second chance like I did. That's a sympathetic view of your father, Will. And he doesn't deserve sympathy? Is that what you're saying? You know, reading that report, I realized that I've been wrong about him my whole life. Because everyone told me he walked out on me. Like he had a choice. But the truth is, he got arrested. And my mom just cut him off. You see, that's where it gets complicated, Will. Your father is volatile and unpredictable. And we didn't want you in contact with someone who would manipulate you or disrupt your life. I'm sorry, Will. That's why we were determined to keep you from reaching out to him. And that's why I didn't want you to track down somebody who could have reached out to you all these years when he was in prison but didn't. And I didn't want him to hurt you any more than he already had. And he showed up here today. Yeah. The decision to see him or not is still yours to make. 
What do you want to do?